everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and yes we are doing another video marathon because I'm still behind when the, everything comes in at once you just and you start out behind and it's very hard to catch up if you don't do a video marathon okay so we have not seen this one for a while guys um, somehow I missed a month and I'm very upset that I missed a month and I'm going to go back and try to buy the kit that I missed because I really this is probably in uh, tied for first place I mean just a hair behind cat lady in terms of my favorite is my favorite um, art subscription box it's the only one I'm getting at the moment but I've gotten more than one um, if you've been watching my channel you know that uh, and that would be let's make art um this is the art journal subscription box from let's make art they also have watercolor and, and a kid's subscription box which i keep saying i'm going to get the kid's subscription box and i haven't yet i will eventually but i don't want to give this one up to get that one i don't know how i got skipped um it happened somehow i have to go back and buy last month's box but this is the march box and I believe my March box is now upside down. This is Art Journal. Maybe not. April. March box is the one I need. This is actually the April box. That's what it says right there. And I'm glad that they did that. I wish every box would do that. Because sometimes they come in, strangely, they don't always come in on time. And then by the time we're videoing it, some of us that didn't receive it on time, you're like, that's old news. I've seen it ten times already or more. All right. Anyhow. Spoiler alert, you're good at this. They always say that. And I always say, well, how do they know? Um, because they tell me what to do step by step. That's how they know, because they're good at it, right? All right, so anyways, inside of here we have this card. And what does it say? Originating in Japan, the idea of wabi-sabi, is that how you say it? W A B I dash s-a-b-i i don't know celebrates the weathered the imperfect and honors Im impermanence this month we will explore prompts to dig deep into these ideas the supplies included will help us build texture and achieve some uh, grounding colors of rich rusts and beautiful blue greens as we create with this theme in with this theme in mind, we hope you'll find joy in making imperfect art while making peace with our very human and transitory experience. All right, so that brings us to our next card. Hey there. This is your friendly reminder to set aside your to-do list to play, dabble, and paint. Art journaling can be whatever you want. The pages can be fast or slow, paintings or drawings, snippets of life pasted on a page, or pretty painted song lyrics that capture your current mood. Each month, your themed box will include a fabulous mixed media art journal curated supplies and art recipe cards to spark your creativity. There are two types of art recipe cards, prompt cards for journaling and technique cards to expand your art making skills. You can use one of each to make a page in your journal or use them separately. It's all up to you. No matter where you are on your creative journey, we hope you enjoy this practice. I'm so excited you are here. Congratulate, or congrats on taking the first step to carve out time to be creative. Now rip open these supplies and let's play. Cheers, Jesse Peterson. This used to be on eight and a half by 11 paper and now it's on a card how to use this box one watch the tutorial you can view tutorials that correspond with your subscription box to view new art journal project tutorials tune in to the let's make art youtube channel every thursday or visit www.letsmakeart.com my video my Dash videos to see all the videos on the first of the month they used to do it only on Thursdays but now you can get them all at once 
uh, which is really nice because sometimes you, you know, don't have time to do it uh, every, like, once a week on a Thursday. Sometimes you have to just kind of do them back to back when you have a day. Yeah. Um, number two, let's make art matter. We also included a let's make art matter postcard for you to send out some good vibes. Point... Uh, Paint something on your own or join us for a mini tutorial at the end of the month. Each postcard is addressed and stamped. Just create and drop it in the mail. They identify somebody that they could use, you know, for various reasons. Maybe um, they've had some kind of a traumatic event or they do like all kinds of good things. Usually it's a traumatic event and they do all kinds of good things. Anyways, somebody well deserving of a little you know, bit of happy mail. And that's really neat. Uh, three, sharing is caring. We love seeing what you make. You amazing art genius. Join our community of art journalists on Facebook for daily encouragement and check out the hashtag uh, Let's Make Art Journals on Instagram to find even more inspiration. So now, instead of being on a paper, it's on a card. That's kind of neat. All the squiggly papers, all the crinkly squigglies, and then we have muslin bag. See the muslin bag? I like that they do this. And the neat thing about these, and I haven't done it yet, is that you could actually paint on it when you're done and turn it into something. I just keep my art supplies on them to keep the kits together, but that's something that you could do. So all the goodies are in there, but let's um, let's pull out everything. Why not? All right. So this would be uh, apparently um, the person, the fan, they've identified a family this time. It's the Dobson family in Utah. So that is who we're going to make our card for, our postcard. Let's make art matter. Every month we come together as a community to create small acts of kindness through art. This month we are sending good vibes to Kathy Dobson's family. Kathy was an angel. She loved to work, serve, and most especially adored coming home each night to her family. She lived and breathed art and all things creative. Any challenge was almost her favorite challenge yet. She was a patient and kind teacher and expected 110% from herself. She's a bit of a perfectionist. She created gifts for others and works of art for, uh, from anything she could find. Kathy was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last year and fought until the end to beat it. She leaves her husband and six children. Ugh. The youngest is four, the oldest 21 and dozens of other family members, all of whom could use reminders of her through art. This would be a true blessing, the kind that keeps on giving even after all the cards are received. So that's the family that we're gonna make the postcard for. And then we have our prompt cards and our technique cards. Boy, that, that gets me. Look at the collars and stuff we're going to be working with. That's going to be nice, huh? All right. They always, every month, they send you a fresh um, um, mixed media journal from Carpe Diem. All fresh and ready to be journaled in, you know, the art and stuff. It's a traveler's notebook insert. Um, it's got 10 pages and it's uh, 310 GSM recycled silk linen paper. Um, I like to sometimes, depending on, like if the collar sort of, sometimes they'll do months back to back, the collars are pretty much the same. And I like to like continue on in a book with that or you can just, you know, continue on your own, but I like to try to conserve the books if I can. Um, you know, there's no sense in, in just leaving big 
portions of it blank or whatever. Um, I don't know why. That's just what I do. You do it the way you want. Um, then there's this packet down here. To ha It has the papers that you use to actually um, you know, coordinate with the craft, the paints and stuff to make the um, mixed media art in the journal. This one says impermanent, imperfect, and weathered. And it's got a lady walking in a field. It's got old keys. So we'll be using that somehow, I'm sure. And this one on the other side says there is beauty in simplicity. Wabi Sabi or however you say that. And it's got like, um, I love the look of like rust on different metals and things. Um, I love, I love that. And it's some kind of a like newspaper there. Anyways, I, I like pictures that are taken of um, weathered and warm stuff. It's a neat aesthetic, you know. Okay, let's look in the baggie and see what the paints and stuff are. Oh. All right, so we have acrylic paint in the color fuchsia. Nice amount of that, yeah. You can get a lot done with that. White gesso, which I have yet to work with, I don't think. I want to buy some gesso, and I always talk myself out of it because I'm like, mm, don't need it right this minute, you know. Uh, acrylic paint in the color cheddar. Looks like cheddar. Acrylic paint in marine, so it's a greenish color, like a dark teal blue-green. And then we have acrylic paint in apricot, which is sort of a beigey color. So these colors together, well, besides the white gesso, in whatever order you want to, you know, those will look pretty together. And then, as always, we have a little tiny thing of Yes Paste. And I like this stuff so well that I bought a big pot of it, which I don't know where it's sitting right now. That's not good. We best find that. Hmm. Because, you know, I don't like to, I don't want to run out. I always fear that I will run out. Let's see, is there only two sheets in this, or is there a third one? Sometimes, you know. Let's see. If I can find the opening. Okay. Oh, and there's one more thing. What am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just trying to see if there was anything else in this. I think it might just be the two pieces. Yep, it's just the two pieces in there. Mm. Okay. I missed this, guys. Create a color monolith 4B. It's a pencil. Hmm. Yep, just a graphite pencil. It's a soft lead. Pencil. Okay, well, I want to get started making things, and you know, I like to do the project, the pages, along with Jesse Peterson, and then if I can, I like to, um, instead of showing you me doing those, I do show you what it comes out looking like, but instead of having you watch me do this, I usually do a video of me doing the same technique, but with like my own stuff to, you know, recreate it again, but different so that, um, you know, you see that you can use those techniques over and over and achieve some other uh, end result. So anyhow, that's probably what I'll do. At least one page like that if I get a chance because I'm so far behind. Um, I love this kit. I don't know what you guys think of it. Let me know in, in the comments down below. Do you art journal? Do you do mixed media? Do you get Let's Make Art? 
do you get some other similar uh, kit? What is your favorite um, art to do? Um, I don't know. Just talk to me. Talk to me down in the um, comments. I answer every comment as long as it's appropriate. Um, and please give me a big old thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel and share my videos because you just don't know who you might also enjoy them and who might also subscribe and help me out. Because subscribing is just the, the ultimate that you can do for me right now. And cost nothing. So thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And since this is a video marathon, I'll see you in just a minute with with something something different. Maybe even something new. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.